Filarial nematodes. Different filarial worms reside in various body sites and are transmitted by various vectors. These are known to cause deadly acute as well as chronic infections in humans. Wachereria bancrofti and Brugia malayi are the filarial nematodes that reside in the lymphatic system. Lulu, Oncocerca volvulus, and Mancinella streptocerca are found in skin, subcutaneous tissue. Mancinella ozardi, Mancinella perstens, resides in the body cavity. Wachereria bancrofti. Its infective form is third-stage filariform larvae. It's transmitted by Culex mainly, but Aedes and Anopheles are also known to be its vectors. The Life Cycle of Wachereria bancrofti During a blood meal, an infected mosquito introduces third-stage filarial larvae onto the skin of the human host, where they penetrate into the bite wound. They develop in adults that commonly reside in the lymphatics. The female worms measure 80 to 100 millimeter in length and 0.24 to 0.30 millimeter in diameter, while the males measure about 40 millimeter by 0.1 millimeters. Adults produce microfilarii measuring 244 to 296 micrometer by 7.5 to 10 micrometer, which are sheathed and have nocturnal periodicity. The microfilarii migrate into lymph and blood channels moving actively through lymph and blood. A mosquito ingests the microfilarii during a blood meal. After ingestion, the microfilarii lose their sheaths and some of them work their way through the wall of the proventriculus and cardiac portion of the mosquito's midgut and reach the thoracic muscles. There, the microfilarii develop into first-stage larvae and subsequently into third-stage infective larvae. The third-stage infective larvae migrate through the hemocele to the mosquito's proboscis and can infect another human when the mosquito takes a blood meal. Clinical Manifestations Clinically, Wachowaria infection manifests differently in acute and chronic stages. In the acute stage, it shows adenine lymphangitis, lymphadenitis, fever. Chronic features are hydrocele, elephantiasis, granuloma breast, kidney block, chyloria, and albuminoria, giving a white urine-like appearance. Diagnosis. Detection of microfilaria and peripheral blood smear, which is preferably taken at nighttime. Diethylcarbamazine provocative test can be done too. Diethylcarbamazine irritates wacuaria and it comes in blood. Detection of filarial antigens or antibodies by enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay or indirect Coombs test in patient serum. Polymerase chain reaction stays the best investigation for diagnosis. Ultrasonography of the scrotum shows a dancing worm sign. Other investigations like chest x-ray, computed tomography can be done too. Treatment. Treatment is done by diethylcarbamazine, albendazole, or ivermectin drugs. Oncocerca volvulus. It causes skin and eye diseases on the skin and manifests as a formation of subcutaneous nodules called oncocercoma. In the eyes, it leads to river blindness. It's transmitted by simulium fly or black fly, and microfilarii are deposited in eyes of those residing near riverbeds. Drug of choice in these conditions is ivermectin. Lulu. It causes calabar swelling in the skin, also known as migratory swelling, and leads to loiasis in the eyes, transmitted by chrysops fly or deer fly. Draconculus metanensis. It's also called guinea worm, and it causes draconculiasis, guinea worm disease. Once prevalent, but now it's been eradicated from many parts of the world, including India. Humans get infected when they drink water that contains cyclops infected with guinea worm larvae. It produces painful cutaneous blisters. Matched skin method was used to remove larvae from lesions or blisters. Trichinella spiralis. It's also known as a muscle worm. It causes trichinellosis, which is a zoonotic infection. It's transmitted by the ingestion of raw uncooked pork containing infective L1 larvae. It is viviparous. Mature adult male and female worms fertilize producing larvae, viviparous, 
which develop into adult forms that settle in muscles. Clinically, it manifests as myalgia due to the deposition of encysted larvae and muscles, and it can also cause profuse watery diarrhea. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.